Hello friends. Let's see the multiple choice question on mass transfer operations. Here, in each question, you have given 10 seconds to solve. If you know the answer, you can comment in the comment box. Let's see questions. First question is Mass transfer coefficient is defined as Flux is equal to coefficient divided by concentration difference. Coefficient is equal to flux divided by concentration difference. Flux is equal to concentration difference divided by coefficient. None of these. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is, coefficient is equal to flux divided by concentration difference. Now next question is, boiling point diagram is not affected by pressure. Affected by pressure. A plot of temperature versus liquid composition. A plot of temperature versus vapor composition. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is, affected by pressure. Now next question is, in rectifying section of a continuous distillation column the vapor is enriched with low boilers vapor is enriched with high boilers liquid is stripped of high boilers none of these your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is liquid is stripped of high boilers now next question is in stripping section of a continuous distillation column the liquid is stripped of high boilers liquid is enriched with high boilers vapor is stripped of low boilers none of these your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is, liquid is enriched with high boilers. Now next question is, which of the following method assumes constant molar vaporization and overflow? McCabe Thiele method, Punchin Savarit method, Anthropy concentration method, Plate absorption method. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is McCabe Thiele method. Now next question is McCabe Thiele method uses molar unit for material and energy balance uses weight fraction to express liquid and vapor composition can use any type of unit is more accurate than punch and separate method your time start now 10 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is, uses molar unit for material and energy balance. Now next question is, minimum reflux ratio in distillation column result in optimum number of trays. Minimum reboiler size Maximum condenser size Minimum number of trays 
your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so answer is maximum condenser size now next question is Minimum number of ideal stages is required in fractionating column when the reflux ratio is equal to Minimum reflux ratio Optimum reflux ratio 0 Infinity Your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is infinity if you like my video please like my video share the video with your friends and subscribe to my channel